Hey guys, it's Candice and I was recently asked a question on my video about how to refund your customers. And so this person basically said, which I've been getting a lot of questions about having two sales receipts paid with a visa and one return on your visa in your bank feed. Um, I only see the total of the sales on the return. How do you, how do you take care of that inside QuickBooks? So I created a little example system in here for you guys. So if we say we had a sales receipt, we're gonna have two sales receipts. So I went in and I created two sales receipts, one for bill and one for cool car. So she said she, I asked her a few questions. She had two different customers. So basically, if you have different customers who are coming in, charging with a Visa card, and then you have somebody who you also refund how do you t handle that into QuickBooks? That was her question. So you go through, you add your charges for the day, all the charges that you had. Once all your charges have been added in there, you go in and you're gonna also add in a refund receipt. Okay, so I added in a refund receipt. When you drop down this little time, it allows you to pull up the last one that you did. So I created for today, I created one refund. You can choose Visa here if you want. Um, but what you want to make sure is instead of picking which account, your checking account is where it came out of. In this example, you want to use undeposited funds because basically what that allows you to do is get income from different customers and refund money at the same time. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to record your deposit. And so you're going to pick the bank account it goes into on the date. And what you'll notice is down here, these are the two sales receipts that I did for today. And then right below it is the refund receipt that I had. When I add that, it gives, instead of 550, it only gives 450 as the total deposit. Do you see that? So that's how you can have multiple incomes coming in and your expense or your refund going out, tracking the difference in your bank account. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. If you enjoy these tips and tricks, feel free to subscribe and get them in your inbox. And if you are looking for a course to walk you through all of these steps virtually, feel free to check out Confidence with QuickBooks, my online course. See you guys soon. Have an amazing day. Bye.